Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel, and I've got a couple very interesting XRP related stories for you in this latest Moon Lambo hot jam. Start with this one 610 million XRP transferred by Huobi Giant uh, while XRP rises to 51 cents. Well, I'll tell you what, I know what I hate, and I don't hate that. I've also got this story uh, titled doge and xrp rally as pump and dump sneak back into crypto markets and in this piece they go on to cite something that uh maybe on the surface sounds bad but i personally am thrilled about it it's the hype it's the hype which i believe leads to pumps and so even though i'm never going to uh, to hype xrp i just want to share my open honest opinion that's why if you even follow me you'll notice that um, I do something that not everybody's willing to do. Uh, I talk about the good things, sure, and there's plenty of good news going around. It has been the last two plus years I've been around this channel, but I talk about all the bad news and the scary stuff that maybe some people don't want to address because uh, the way I look at it is, look, I've been an investor in XRP, and if there's some truly horrendous news, I want to know about it, and I want to share it with you because like, we all have real skin in the game here, don't we? we? We put our real money into XRP. I'm assuming you're an XRP holder if you're listening to this channel. It's an XRP-centric channel, after all. And so, from my perspective, it's just like, no, let's talk about these things. If there's a reason to be scared or a reason that we should exit our investment, let's know. Because I'm not here for ideological reasons. I'm here because I think that XRP is a good investment. A risky one, just like well, cryptocurrencies are risky. But still, I, I believe there's tremendous opportunity here personally. And so even though I'm not going to hype because it's just outside of what I, I would, I just, it would be disingenuous. I'm not going to be hypey. Uh, there's enough exciting news out there that I just, I don't feel like hype's appropriate. Like, for, <laughs> certainly not for me. But as far as the way that social media behaves around cryptocurrencies as they pump, it, it, there is a bunch of hype around these cryptocurrencies. And so... I'm just recognizing that humans are going to behave like that. And when they do behave like that, XRP or whatever cryptocurrency is getting hyped ends up getting pumped. That's that's frequently what ends up being the case. So uh, I do want to be clear that I don't have a financial background of any kind. I am not offering financial advice. And you should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. I'm simply an enthusiast that enjoys talking about these topics. Uh, but I'm just, look, I'm just making YouTube videos as a hobby. That is all that it is. Don't want anyone to think that I'm someone or something that I'm not. Just a guy named Moon Lambo on the internet. It's kind of weird. All right, anyway, a uh, whale alert has detected that over the past 17 hours, Huobi crypto trading giant and large cryptocurrency owner has shifted a mammoth-sized amount of crypto, 610 million XRP tokens. <clears throat> That's worth $278 million, roughly, by the way. And so according to uh, the to, uh, data presented to the company by Whale Alert Crypto Tracker, in the last 17 hours, uh, that's when these exchanges have happened here. And so the transfers carrying 100 million, 200 million, and 300 million XRP were conducted between the internal wallets of the exchange, possibly hot and cold storage vaults. And so right there, that would probably just come down to how much is needed at the moment. And I don't, I'm not privy to the ins and outs of why cryptocurrencies move around their stashes from time to time, but they're typically security related. And uh, in a separate tweet, Whale Alert also noted that a crypto wallet with an anonymous owner had sent 10 million XRP to Binance. And so according to BitHomps, which is, BitHomp, which is an analytics provider, uh, the sender was a Coinbase exchange. And it's funny that they mentioned this now because I actually cited this, I don't know, it was like a day or two ago. I was like, guys, if you ever are wondering where the hell these whale, transa whale alert transactions are you know, coming from, going to, even if it says it's an unknown wallet, there's a little secret for you. It's not that big a deal. If you just click on the whale alert transaction, you can click here, from, or here, to, and uh, here's the from address, and there you go. Even though it said unknown in by Whaler, it just has to do with how it's pulling data from uh, from the XRP ledger. And so it said unknown, but if you click on it, which takes about two seconds, you could see it's Coinbase. And voila, mystery, mystery solved. Because a lot of times when people don't know what's going on, they see these big amounts of XRP going around. It's like the, the gut reaction is, oh my God, somebody's going to dump on the American. And the thing is, most of the time, even if, like, it's most, well, it's almost never the case, but even if it were the case, even if it sounds like a big number to you, a big amount of XRP, it would be a very small percentage of global volume. And so it functionally wouldn't matter anything. It's not like it's going to, in any sort of measurable way, suppress the price. I think people kind of freak out. Some some people freak out more than they should, I think, anyway. Uh, so now to this piece from Cointelegraph. Doge and XRP rally 
as pump and dump sneak back into crypto markets. And we're actually going to get into also a metric that's being tracked to determine how hypey a particular cryptocurrency is getting in terms of social media activity, which I found rather fascinating. And I feel like it's a metric that I should probably regularly track because it's not something I typically look at. But um, if indeed there's something to this, it's probably worth knowing. Now, on the flip side, I kind of think that by the time there's hype, there's going to be some pump to like some degree or another. And if a coin's already pumped, I'm not really going to be interested in purchasing it anyway. But, I don't know, it could still be a useful thing to track. So, anyway, uh, the rise of internet, uh, I'm sorry, of interest in cryptocurrencies amid Bitcoin and Ether bull runs often goes hand in hand with the pro proliferation of scams and manipulation schemes related to various altcoins. Uh, one of the main manipulation schemes running in the crypto markets is pump and dumps. These schemes artificially inflate the price of the asset to enable a select few to sell it at a higher price before it ultimately comes crashing down. What makes crypto markets more vulnerable to such schemes when compared with traditional equity markets is that cryptocurrency is an asset class that is void of underlying fundamentals, while securities um, often have company fundamentals backing them. Uh, thus, the primary driver for these markets is the sentiment that prevails among investors. Uh, the market sentiment is what the proponents of these schemes manipulate to pump up the price of the assets in question. I actually feel differently. I, I think it's really more so to do with just how illiquid these markets are and the fact that there's a frenzy around them. You can think of with, with how illiquid you know, your typical cryptocurrency is. It doesn't take much money flowing into double or triple or quadruple it. And as far as the importance of fundamentals, like if this author is under the illusion that the you know the stock market moves based on fundamentals, you might want to consider something. I'm, I should be parse my own words. I'm not saying fundamentals don't matter. I'm saying that chart analysis is more important. You, you can kind of figure out. It's like look at a chart. You can tell what the news is basically, right? I've heard that said before, and. Uh, and so that's that, but that's why you get because if it were all about fundamentals, you wouldn't have in the stock market people FOMOing in and you wouldn't have people panic selling all in tandem. It's just that people are just being lemmings, just like they are in the crypto asset class. It's just more volatile here because there's less money in it. So I actually disagree with that. But uh, hey, I like diversity of thought. So maybe you disagree with me and that's fine. We can still be friends. But take a look at this social media in full use. The retail trading frenzy recently witnessed in the equity markets drove up the share of prices of securities like GameStop and AMC Entertainment with the subreddit Wall Street Bets uh, playing a major role in driving the prices up combined with Twitter. This effect now seems to be spilling over to the digital to digital assets like Doge and XRP through uh, Wall Street Bets, Crypto Wing, Satoshi Street Bets, all that crap. Uh, Jay Howe, CEO of crypto exchange OKX, told Cointelegraph that there is a deeper cause uh, driving this, uh, this, this current phenomenon. Here's a quote. There's a great sense of injustice about some of the opaque practices of Wall Street and the unfair distribution of wealth. I, uh, I believe that more and more of society is beginning to wake up to this fact, particularly with the K-shaped recovery that we are seeing in which uh, high net worth individuals have increased their wealth during the pandemic. With more platforms allowing retail investors direct asset uh, access to invest in equities, uh, we are seeing a democratization of the investment space and more power in the hands of the people. And maybe that's indeed what, what's happening as far as Wall Street bets stuff. But as far as XRP and Doge, you know, even though there are groups that are resulting in this, I mean, there's also, as far as Doge, let's be real, Elon Musk, come on, right? He's, he was clearly pumping Doge. If, whether it was intentional or not, I don't know, but he, that, that was the effect of it. And, um, you know, just consider that these cryptocurrencies, it's fundamentally different than what's happening with like GameStop, for example, where with GameStop, there are shorts to be liquidated with uh, with, uh, with cryptocurrencies. Not, not the case here. You know, there's not a bunch of over leveraged individuals that made a bad decision that was clearly visible. It's just, just a decentralized cryptocurrency in the case of XRP, for example. So, uh, that would make it fundamentally harder to get the same type of reaction as a result of the attempted uh, pump group, which, uh, you know, they did try and pump XRP on, on February 1st and they failed. <laughs> but, uh, you know, they gave it the old college try, right? Um, and so I'm, I'm not, you know, yes, fine. There's, there were organized attempts. Uh, for XRP, it certainly didn't work. And for Doge, arguably, it was really more so Elon Musk. But um, even outside of that, What's interesting, and this, this part does matter, it's it's the hype train that gets going here. And so let me jump down. Yeah, so here we go. XRP. 
Um, they go on to cite that Ripple is currently tied up in a lawsuit with the United States Securities and Exchange Commission. And the case is based on the argument that XRP is actually security. Uh, and, and so you guys are familiar with this. I don't really want to go through that whole portion of the, the story. But um, they do cite here that there was a high of XRP, the 75 cents before it crashed by near 50%. But see, that was that's because there was hype leading up to what was supposed to be a pump. But nothing, it, there wasn't ever a pump. When the time came, like, frankly, the price of XRP had been tanking for a couple hours because people knew that there was supposed to be a bunch of buyers there and they were just exiting a couple hours prior. That, it's a buy the rumor, sell the news situation. So that's not too surprising. So I want to make sure we get that right because I don't really like the way that was necessarily framed. But in terms of the hype, yeah, that, that part was real. There was real XRP hype. And I was warning people against it too. I said, look, I'm not telling you to buy or sell, but I've seen these types of situations before and people get burnt in these situations. And uh, some people in the XRP community weren't so thrilled when I said that as if I should just be rah, rah, go pump XRP. I'm not going to be like that. I'm just, I wouldn't, I would not feel right being like that. I think XRP is going to pump whether I like it or not. And I do like that idea <laughs> because I hold a bunch of XRP, but I just, I, I feel like scummy if I were trying to like just pump it up artificially or some crap like that. Just, just let the humans do what the humans are going to do is what I, that's my take on it anyway. But um, since social media platforms like Twitter are often used as a channel for these schemes, it's important to have a metric by which investors can gauge market sentiment in relation to actual trading volumes to avoid getting into risky situations. The hype to activity ratio is an important metric for that as it measures the number of tweets a particular coin has about it uh, per each $1 million in reported trading volume. As the Ties Frank told Cointelegraph, the average hype to activity ratio for crypto, uh, crypto markets is 1.02, which essentially means that on average, cryptocurrencies see 1.02 tweets per million dollars in reported trading volume. Uh, Frank further elaborated on the way in which this ratio can be used as an indicator. And so this is what I was talking about just a couple minutes ago. Take a look at this quote. A high hype to activity ratios may suggest that a particular cryptocurrency is overhyped in social conversations relative to the amount of trading activity that it has. It is a good metric for identifying outliers for um, or for uh, tracking the number of social conversations a particular coin has relative to its trading volume over time. So the coins that make the top of the ranking are possibly the most overhyped coins in the crypto industry, according to uh, the metric from the tie. And uh, in addition, and this is important, check out this. Um, this is a very important point. In addition, Zhu uh, mentioned that retail investors are the most susceptible to these schemes. And here's a quote, pump and dump schemes trap uninformed retail investors when they, for the fear of missing out on a payday, enter the market only to find themselves captured by a lower price before they even realize. Ding, 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 and there you go. And so I think the people that got upset with me warning that, hey, this is kind of dangerous and people get burnt by this, I think that they, th those individuals must have been the type of like uninformed retail investors that Mr. Zoo here is talking about. This guy's in the know. You know, he's tracking all sorts of data along these lines, and I was just trying to put out a fair warning. And I'm glad I did. I don't regret it. I'm just saying, like, some people, though, whew, man, this, you need to be okay with diversity of thought. We're not all going to agree on everything, but we should still be able to be friends, guys. I'm just saying here. Uh, but, but this is important to recognize here. It's, it's a fun thing to track, I think. Maybe I'll be taking a look at it a little bit closer from here on out. But um, it, it, look, to me, though, regardless, like all, all of this is never, despite the failed pump efforts, the, the pump and dump of XRP earlier this month, despite all that crap, which that failed, you know, it briefly drove up the price before the pump was supposed to happen. Again, buy the rumor, sell the news, go figure, like we haven't seen that before. But despite all of this, I still firmly believe that XRP will at some point hit its all-time high again and enter a new realm of price discovery. I just don't know when, I don't pretend to know, it'll happen when it happens, and I'm just gonna hold on tight until then. Uh, I do want to be clear again as I wrap up here. I am not a financial advisor. Do not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambo.